Hi, I'm David Hall with Kraft Music. Today I'm going to cover the Yamaha NU1. It's a hybrid piano that combines the traditions of an acoustic piano with the advantages of a digital. It uses the same mechanical action as found in Yamaha uprights. It sounds great, it feels better, and it's nearly indistinguishable from an acoustic. Think of this as a video owner's manual. I'm going to cover with you the sounds, the songs, the functions, and the recording capabilities of this revolutionary instrument. So here we have the NU-1. It's a striking instrument. It has a high polish ebony finish. The key cover is a soft fall style, which is great to protect your little one's fingers. Additionally, we have a fold-down music shelf to hold your music publications. On the far right of the keyboard, you'll notice the power switch, plus there's a little disclaimer on here that basically says, as you power up the instrument, do not touch any of the keys to ensure that they'll sound correctly once the instrument's ready to go. The volume is under the left side of the key bed. On the far left of the keyboard, we see a control panel. Here you find a number of buttons and a LED readout screen. The NU-1 has five sounds. When you power up the piano, the default is the Grand Piano 1. There are a total of five sounds in this piano. There's two grand pianos, two electric pianos, and a harpsichord. To change the sound, simply press and hold the piano voice button, and then use the plus or minus key. You'll see the number appear in the readout screen. This is piano number two. This is electric piano sound one. Next we have electric piano two. The last sound is harpsichord, and before I play, just a couple notes. First of all, the touch sensitivity of the keyboard is deactivated automatically. Harpsichords themselves cannot be played loud or soft like a piano can. Secondly, I'd like you to pay attention to the key off sample. When a harpsichord is played, not only do you hear the attack, but the release of the key is sampled as well. For your convenience, there's a built-in metronome. To activate it, simply press the metronome button. From here, you'll see in the readout the default beats per minute, which happens to be 120. If you would like to change the tempo of the metronome, you can use the plus or minus buttons on the control panel. In order to change the volume of the metronome, simply press and hold the metronome button and press any of the keys in this range. To change the time signature, you press any of the keys in this range.
and to revert back to no bell indicating the downbeat, just press the C key. The NU1 has a built-in recording studio. You can record up to 10 of your own compositions. To activate the recorder, simply press the record button and from here, begin playing. The instrument will then save your composition and to hear it play back, just press the play button. You can also play over your composition, adding a second part. Another fun and easy way to record is by using the USB flash drive. Simply take a USB stick, plug it in, record your composition as a WAV file. From there, you can transfer it to your personal computer for further editing or sharing on social media. You can even burn an audio CD. The NU1 has a built-in library of recorded music. First, we have demo songs that each correlate to the sounds of the piano. First, I'm going to select the instrument voice, in this case, electric piano, and then I'll press demo to hear the playback. So press voice, navigate up to electric piano, which is number three, and then press demo. In addition to the demo songs, there are two other folders. User, which can house up to 10 of your own compositions, and P for piano, which holds recordings that correlate to the 50 greats for piano music book that comes with your instrument. When you open up the table of contents, you'll see that each of the 50 compositions has a correlating number. In this case, I'd like to work with for Elise, which is song number 13. Now to access song number 13, I simply press and hold the demo button. I navigate to the P folder and then I scroll down to song number 13 and press play. The NU1 includes a powerful full range sound system that can be adjusted by using the volume control under the keypad. When you would like to practice privately, simply plug your headphones into one of the two jacks and that will automatically turn off the speaker system. Additionally, there are line inputs so you can plug in your smartphone or tablet. The piano also includes stereo line outputs in case you'd like to plug in the instrument to an external sound system, such as a church or a school. Next to the audio connections, you'll find the USB port, allowing you to connect the piano to your personal computer. And you also will find the traditional MIDI in and out ports. Well, there you have it, the NU1 Hybrid Piano, the perfect choice to bring Yamaha sound and quality into your home. It truly is the best of both worlds. For Craft Music, I'm David Hall. Thanks for watching.